Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Now, I'm a little late to the party on this one, like a day or two, but there's been a huge data mine with Nintendo, and it reveals a lot of new info about the apparent Nintendo Switch Pro that has uh, been a rumor for almost two years and counting. We have been keeping tabs with this. We've seen everything from retail websites accidentally leak accessories for Nintendo Switch Pro. We've seen carrying cases, screen protectors, you name it. But we've also seen hints of trademark and references to it pop up here and there. This is apparently the closest we've gotten to all but a confirmation from Nintendo themselves about a Nintendo Switch revision coming out. I hope to God this is all accurate and true. Let's read this news article. This can be from Nintendo Life, who posted it from Mick, uh, WCCF Tech. Not Mick Tech. I'm sorry. I have trouble reading the screen when I have the light in my face. But we're going to read this article. So here we go, guys. It says, Rumor Data Mine apparently reveals all about the Nintendo Switch revision. And this is probably the biggest news yet we've had in regards to the Switch Pro, which, again, like I said, has been rumored and speculated for like two years just about. Now is the time to do it. After, you know, the Mario 35th anniversary dies down, April 1st is the rumor of when we would start getting some of this stuff that people are feeling. You know, these big announcements, these big game reveals, a, a console release. Um, I, in order to compete with this next-gen console with the Xbox Series X, the Series S even, and the PS5, Nintendo needs to do something. Even though they are all about the genuine fun of games and all this, you can't just last so long on inferior software. The Switch is pretty much, in my view, an obsolete system. It needs an upgrade boost. So here we go, guys. It says it's on the seventh day of the year, and we've already got some wild Nintendo rumors circulating online. So grab some salt and read on. So take this with a grain of salt, guys. According to an article over on WCCF Tech, a well-known data miner and console hacker, Series M has just uncovered new information about the rumored Switch Pro model by sifting through firmware code. So it says, although the source's details may not necessarily be accurate, there's a fair bit of speculation too. So again, take all this with a grain of salt. This is all stuff that has been speculated on and uncovered, and this is adding to the rumors of the Switch Pro. This is big. This is probably the biggest quote-unquote leak we've had yet. So it says, with this in mind, the revised system could apparently be code named Aula and utilize a Mariko SOC. In addition to this, it's believed that it will feature both docked and handheld play, which I was thinking a upgraded Switch Pro that would be 4K would only be docked. So if they figured out how to do it handheld, good on them. It says 4K support in some way or form and could potentially include an OLED screen. The real tech chip might also be in the dock rather than the system. So here we go. This is what they have to say. And this was via Reset Era, which is like a gaming form if you've never been there. This is a lot of information to dwell in. So again, take this with a grain of salt. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. This says Nintendo actually is working on a new model with upgraded display stuff and has been for 1.5 to 2 years. I personally believe it is 4K given the signs I'm seeing in the firmware. But that's not confirmed yet and could be wrong. So we've been hearing 4K. We've been hearing that Nintendo has been producing this. I think if this is accurate, the pandemic kind of threw a wrench into the plans of this. But it still seems like they're going forward with it. So the new hardware is codenamed AULA. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. A-U-L-A. AULA. And it's using a Mariko SOC. There's a bunch of references to it in code. Atmosphere supports the new display already in theory. So it goes on to say the tablet itself definitely has an upgraded display. They don't know if it's 4K. And I remember reading rumors in the past. They've all said this display is probably a little bit more accurate, a little bit bigger, higher resolution, uh, a lot more of an upgrade than what we currently have. It says Ola has firmware support, some real tech chip that advertises itself as a 4K UHD multimedia SoC. Hence the belief that it's 4K. That chip might be inside a new dock and not inside the tablet though. There's no way to tell from the firmware code yet. I think if they really want something super powerful, if they want something that's going to tear it up, rip and tear, 
I think the chip needs to be in the dock. Um, I think all their power needs to be focused on this. I know a lot of Nintendo fans, myself included in the past, said power and specs aren't everything. With this new console generation, I am going to go ahead and say power and specs are everything. So if you're coming with an upgraded Switch, you need to bring your A-game on this, Nintendo. Now it says, um, all explicitly supports handheld mode. It's not docked only. That's Calcio, which seems like it's f for internal only, never releasing, since Calcio has no gamer card slot and no battery. You can check boot sys module display code if you're curious. The new display doesn't support power management PWN. It has its own vendor specific BS I had to reverse engineer and implemented a month or two ago. So this guy is really digging into the code. It says Mariko has substantially better cooling and battery life. It's a bona fide die shrink, die shrink over the original generation. So better cooling, better battery life. We need that. It says my best guess, and this is pure speculation, no firmware indication this is the case. If that is that if they need extra performance, they'll push it to a higher clock rates across the board. They go on to say, but yeah, I speculate games will be like DSi enhanced games were. Or like how some games benefited from PS4 Pro despite working on PS4. So I guess current Switch games will be boosted on this upgraded Pro Switch. That's good. I would like to see uh, better performance from Odyssey and Breath of the Wild and stuff like that. So they said, check my previous discussions with H which HEXKYZ. The upgraded tablet displays an OLED screen. Probably not higher re resolution on tablet itself. So I guess the 4K Realtek chip is more likely to be new dock than I thought it was. Vanilla probably won't. So we're in the middle, we're in the realm of speculation. Allah has new GPIO that Redbox doesn't related to support for this. So I would tentatively guess that Redbox units won't support the new thing. So this goes on to say Switch Pro rumors have been circulating for a few years now. Uh, in the past, we've even had Taiwanese news reporters and websites go on to say about it. I don't know. Uh, it seems like the general response is interesting and mixed. I would say let's take a wait and see reproach. I think it is not a bad idea for Nintendo to add something upgraded, like a mid-tier console. It doesn't mean that they're necessarily dropping the Switch support. I always get people saying, well, they can't drop the Switch. It's barely in its fourth year. The new indication of the industry is about the mid-tier of a console. They're starting to do upgrades. Sony and Xbox have done it for years. I think now Nintendo is going to hop on that bandwagon. So it remains to be seen. Again, there's no confirmation. But I think this is all likely um, the truth. And I think we're going to get it revealed this year. So let's see what happens, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks a lot for watching.